The new opportunity is uh, the title of the fair provides it, uh, so a consumer and luxury hood. And I wish to uh, um, Hainan uh, Expo a big success, to the, the project of uh, Hainan as a free trade world uh, a big success. So Mr. Ambassador, what does it mean for Switzerland to be the only guest country of honour at the first China International Consumer Products Expo in Hainan? It's a big honor that we have been able to gather more than 40 uh, Swiss uh, companies. Most of them are based in uh, China uh, already. The new opportunity is uh, the title of the uh, fair provides it. Uh, so a consumer and luxury uh, goods where Switzerland is a world uh, leader. So we made the effort to bring uh, all these uh, goods at the Hainan Trade Fair to, be the, to give the broadest uh, possible uh, example of all what Switzerland produces in uh, quality luxury goods. So how is Swiss Pavilion planning to make full use of the time during the expo? Only a few days, but I think the design is uh, good. So the fact of giving the visitor the opportunity to build up his own uh, watch, a Sino Swiss watch, that's going to be a, a nice uh, surprise for that. We have uh, 26 companies within the pavilion, but uh, a number as large as that outside the pavilion. So all Swiss companies with their own uh, boots displaying the product. And I think the time will be enough to give uh, a, a glance of all what uh, we are able to do, our quality uh, products to attract further Chinese uh, consumers. And Ambassador, so what made you and your country interested in the Expo in the first place? It's not just about a, a trade fair, which is a very important part uh, of it, but uh, we are fully aware that uh, uh, Hainan is a full vision about a free trade port, uh, also to attract on the long term uh, companies uh, here, the good news is that those companies are already here. If there is a, a point I, I always like to, to underline, is investment. So it's the presence of Swiss companies in China, which is established for many decades now. And it's not about producing here and exporting by somewhere else. It's producing here and for China, for the Chinese market. What will be the key areas for future cooperation? The um, economy, science, uh, innovation, that are, they are very important uh, fields. Uh, I would mention uh, for sure sustainable development, that's biggest, largest, uh, I would dare to say larger than COVID uh, to address the issue of sustainable development. Swiss-Chinese relations have been pioneering in many aspects. So what is the driving force? behind this closeness between these two countries? It's a good question. I don't have a fixed reply, but it would say a certain pragmatism. And, uh, and we did. Uh, pioneering uh, in a pragmatic way, if you think how early we established our diplomatic uh, relations, 71 years ago. Also the free trade agreements. So later on, also a, a partnership based also on uh, innovation innovative uh, partnership we established in 2016. These are pioneering moves, I would think, that which uh, highlight the uh, history of our relation, which I uh, expect uh, to uh, become uh, uh, deeper, to have a, a dialogue which is uh, more and more uh, open and uh, sincere toward uh, each other. That would be, I think, uh, the objective for the, for the years to come. Thank you. Thank you very much.